My name is Leonardo Bresicki. I'm the director of the Mad Half Hour, which is a short film about Juan, who is 30, and a character who has lost the passion for life. Um, so my first question is, I'm really curious about this concept of the Mad Half Hour, that there is, you know, that cats, once a day, have this period where they are just going totally nuts. Nuts, yeah. And how did, did you, did you hear about it? Did you know, how did you hear Yeah, actually it? a friend of mine told me about it. I was thinking about certain ideas with cats and a friend of mine told me uh, there is this term and she told me in French there is le quart dog du joli. It's the quarter. Happiness jolly? No, really. no well, well, I don't know. I don't mm -hmm. know French. Mm -hmm. It's the quarter, like instead of half an hour, it's 15 minutes in French, the expression. Mm -hmm. And then when you search it on the net, yeah, they say that house cats, uh, like city cats, they experience that once a day at least. And it's true, I have two cats and they go nuts and you don't know why. So was that the inspiration for the plot? No. Okay. No. Um, the, the first image, uh, sometimes I work with images, like, and the first image was this guy on a tennis court, uh, not, not, not moving. Actually, he was in, in the first idea. He was playing, stopping, and and not moving, and, and, and saying that he has lost the passion for everything in life. Okay. So why the title of the film? Well, because then the cats were in, in a different way. In the, in the beginning of the process, they were, yeah, they were like more protagonists, but then the cat was staying, and then I thought, ah, it all makes sense as well. It's like what the character is going through, mm -hmm. you know? So he's like having fun, wants to break up, yeah, so. And, and yeah, it sounded like a good title. Okay. Um, so where do you think that this um, style of filmmaking and, and narrative and storytelling is that something specific to Argentina or Latin America right now, or like um, having like these like I would call it like fantasy elements or something <clears throat> sometimes in it? I, I have the feeling, mm -hmm. the impression that I've seen it a lot from um, especially America. Argentina too. Like which film? Um, well, when I think sometimes about um, a little bit like Marco Berga, you know, probably know him, Marco Berga. Yeah, I've seen one of his films, but was very realistic. No, but it has like these um, serendipitous or like destiny, fate things to it too, or like a little bit like. Um, ah, but I don't know. Fa fairy taleish and. No, I don't know. I mean, I. You want to. You can just put it. You can just put it on the side. No. Um, maybe maybe I'm wrong. It's just a general question. No, because like maybe like assumption. if we talk like about the director that I'm not familiar with, is from my country and maybe it doesn't sound good. You know, yeah. like yeah, yeah. But I, that's the only one. That's the only one I know. No, but like, no. You were saying Latin America. You were not saying Argentina. Yeah, but I think Latin more America. Argentina or like Latin America. I mean, if if you can. If, I'm not from there, so like it's maybe okay. a little bit too much to say like whole Latin America. So maybe it's more Argentina we should talk. No, about. I, th I, I think um, yeah, in one moment was more the minimalism, you no, know, that is very known in, in Europe. Uh, but it's very hard to generalize Latin America, no. That's what I feel. Yeah, I and also the cinema in the different countries is, is very different, no. Like they go through different stages. Um, also, I'm never really a good person to ask about movements or, mm. or putting together like mm. directors or what's going on in Latin American cinema and how is the mm. new Argentinian cinema. Like mm. all those things, I'm, I'm, I'm really bad. Like I'm, so I'm you, not... So, so that means when you do films, you just really just go for what you think or like what you are inspired by at the moment? And It's always difficult because you're always influenced by everything, no? Mm -hmm. Like. Um, in this short film, I think much more than I made another film, and it was a different process, a different moment. Uh, but in this short, yeah, I, I, I set up to do that, like to do what I wanted without caring anything, you know, like about I don't know. So what like, does not that mean? Any, no, that didn't have any like uh, reference for it, you know. Sometimes when you make a film. 
you're like thinking about references and stuff like that. I, I didn't, I didn't mm. do that. Mm. It was. Do you think a lot about the sexuality of your characters, or is that also something that just comes? No, you know, it's like a side product, and it's not really. Yeah, like... yeah. Because if not for me, it doesn't become interesting a film. I mean, a film like unless while well, you're talking, depending certain countries, you no know, certain situations that I'm not familiar, but um, where it's very hardcore to be gay, but no, I like to treat it, you know, characters mm -hmm. beyond their sexuality. Mm -hmm. um, and when once the um, film director told me, don't think because you have a film because there are two guys. You know, mm -hmm. like you always need to think, like he was saying, as if it was a girl and a boy, mm -hmm. in a way. Mm -hmm. Like that, as if that element doesn't add up. It's, it's not something in itself. Mm -hmm. It's just two people relating to each other, no? Mm -hmm. And well, loving or hating each other. It's the mm -hmm. same. Mm -hmm. no? Yeah, I think so. I think so too. But it's still, you know, from what I've seen at the festival now, there's, like you said, regions on this planet where it's mm. very political. All no, of a sudden, sure. it gets really, really political. No, no, and sure, sure, so no, and it's happening. It's like, and it's yeah. happening, no. There are countries where it's crazy. People yeah. get no, no. Of course, it's crazy. But it's so far away from me yeah. that I could not. I mean, it would be like, um, yeah, I don't feel comfortable yeah, yeah. treating it in that yeah. way. I think it's more. But I'm not thinking it. In that way, it's not like I'm thinking I'm gay. So sometimes my characters are gay. Sometimes not. it doesn't mm. matter. Mm. Like, I, I, yeah. So uh, when you shoot, do you already think about editing? Yeah, of course. No, I think about editing during the script. Wow. Of okay. course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In general, like how you pass from one scene to the other, like it's always, always no, but. Majority of the time is clear in my mind. Um, so you basically already while writing in this short, in this short, We're talking about this. Yeah, one, yeah. Let's say in this short it was like that. I, I knew. You write when I you knew the know. cuts. Yeah, some of them worked, some of them didn't. So they changed at the end. But so does it mean you're very efficient in the editing room? Like you? Oh no. Very fast. No, 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 no. <laughs> then I'm a mess. <laughs> like I'm, I, I'm very slow, and I need to have the sound. Even though I edit in Final Cut, but I need to have the sound going because if not the the cuts, they when the sound jumps, I don't have imagination to think. Ah, okay, I watch it with bad sound, you know, mm -hmm. and I imagine how it's going to be. No, I can't. Mm -hmm. So I waste a lot of time. Like, um, so do you edit by yourself or you have a? Wouldn't no, I, I, I edit, but uh, I, I, yeah, I have an editor. Yeah. I had the feeling when I watched the film that you are, that's just my intuition, but that you um, don't, don't give the actors too much instructions or something. It seems like they are, well, free, you know, but um, uh, yeah. it's, it's, that's like air to breathe, you uh -huh. know, something. Oh, uh, nice that you say that, because that was a lot of work. Yeah. Yeah, no, 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 but, <laughs> no, but also because there was a lot of work. Yeah, uh, yeah. So, but I think they're good. Uh, no, no, it was uh, not a lot of rehearsal, but the short film was having a certain tone that is not like realism. Mm -hmm. Like, so it's a little bit like moved from reality, but slightly. Well, so. but very, well the beginning is very, yeah, I was really lost in the beginning. I'm still lost, I don't get it, but okay. it's okay. <laughs> you don't have to get it, but... I, uh, no, well... But <laughs> maybe the end is a little bit... Uh, that leaves you hanging, but... Um, no, no, there was, there was a lot of work. Some scenes were coming easy, so we were not rehearsing almost or once, and then some scenes were more, more hard, like the first one, the tennis. For the main character was <laughs> was hard. I mean, for for both of us to find a way, uh, how to say those, how do you say in English the grandiloquent texts? You know, the eloquent. No. Grandiloquent, no. Grandiloquent. Uh, uh, like eloquent, um, um, very big. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Big um, words. Yeah. Big words. On this. Yeah. Okay. How, how do you like the project in the end? Did, did, you, really talk like to, did you talk to audience members here in Berlin, like did you have Q&As or? L uh, yeah, a, li a little, no, not so much. Then some people approaching after, mm -hmm. um, but not during the Q&A. What did they ask you? In the Q&A or, or like after? after? Like more after? No, it was more like the people who like the film that approach. 
and one young boy that he really liked it said that for him the film were memories of nights out. That was nice. Uh, and then... No, I don't know. No, it was only one projection with audience, and you know, then as well, the Q&As are five directors there, so you don't get, like, you know, to talk a lot. Okay, cool. Thank you yeah. so much.